I don't want to live in a city that I can't trust the police officers. A Utah woman claiming she was wrongfully arrested after she called police for help. Good evening. Thanks for watching 2 News at 10. A Davis County woman claiming police violated her civil rights when they handcuffed her and patted her down after a traffic accident. The woman says she called 911 after she was hurt in a car accident, but ended up being wrongfully arrested and searched. Christina Flores live with more on the story for us. And Christina, if this woman was the victim of a crash, why did the officer end up arresting her? Well, the officer here at the Layton Police Department said she showed signs of being DUI, but Amanda Houghton says blood tests showed that she was clean. She says she was just very shaken up after a car accident. Don't touch okay. me! I, I can search you and that's what I'm doing. This is police video of the day Amanda Houghton was arrested for DUI by Layton Police. I was shocked. Who arrests a sober person? for a DUI. Amanda says the search of her body Can I ask what that is? Yes, your eyes. should not have happened either. I felt violated. It was July 25th. Amanda Houghton was at a stoplight in Layton when she was rear-ended by another driver and called 911 for help. One of the officers was suspicious about her behavior and gave Amanda a field sobriety test, which she failed. Her husband says she wasn't drunk or high. She had a bruise on her leg. She had a bruise on her foot. I mean, she was just in a car accident where both cars, are, I believe, are totaled. The officer arrested her for DUI. And your balance is really poor. Because yet, I'm in shock, I'm shaking. You have some other physical characteristics were, which are indicative of a controlled substance. The officer then searched Amanda around her chest. It may have uh, caught her off guard that she was going to be searched. But she, again, she was under arrest, and that's, that's standard practice. Anytime somebody gets arrested, they're going to be searched. Lieutenant Travis Lyman says even though blood tests later showed that Amanda had no drugs or alcohol in her system, the arrest was by the book. I understand the, the standard of probable cause that he reached. Amanda's attorney disagrees. I think what this amounted to was an unconstitutional search of a woman without a necessity to do it. The next time I think I need help, I probably will think twice about calling the police. Even though the two sets of blood tests showed Amanda was clean, the city of Layton has not dropped that DUI charge yet. She has a court hearing next month where she will ask the judge to drop the charges. Aside from that, she has pursued legal action against Layton City.